Council tax continued. The date is Tuesday the 12th of April 2022. I've just rang Barnsley Council for a follow-up call after speaking to Rachel last week who was calling me back the day after and never did. So I've just given them a call, chased that up. Rachel wasn't available to speak to but I have apparently got a manager under the name of Lisa Pearson who's going to be calling me back any moment now so I shall obviously be recording the call and I shall pick this back up when Rachel um Lisa even calls of course she's trying to call me now from a withheld number which my phone is blocking so welcome to the three voicemail service you have one new voice message new voice messages message from unknown caller received today at 16 28 hours this is a message for Hilton again from Bansley Council. My direct line is 01226 774762. I'll be available for the next 10 minutes if you want to call me. If not, I'll try you again on Thursday. Because Wonderful. I don't work direct line there. There we go. We've got a direct line for Lisa, the manager at Bansley Council, Council Tax Department. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Financial services, Lisa speaking. Ah, uh, good afternoon, Lisa. It's Hayley. I do apologise that you've been trying to call me from a withheld number and my phone just automatically blocks them. Oh, right. You just kept telling me you on another call. So it will do. That, yeah, though. I have them set. No one likes withheld calls, do they? So I just have a no, block on no, there. So I it was yeah, quite frustrating. I can so appreciate that. Thanks for leaving yeah, us a direct yeah. line. Right, Lisa. So uh, obviously my name's Hayley. If you can refer to me as Hayley, that'd be great because that's my name. I did have a wonderful chat with um, a lovely lady called Rachel last week. Um, now she yeah. did advise me that I would be getting a call the day after from uh, either herself or a 151 officer. That call never came. So obviously I'm quite eager to just move forward with this uh, with this now well uh, Lisa right yes yes I mean the lady was supposed to ring you back so on leave today so I've no idea if she actually called Rachel did believe that um, Natalie had tried to ring you so I'm sorry um, that no one called you back I mean just to make things clear um, Haley, I'm not the section 151 officer um, the executive director for finance um, is the section 151 officer obviously he wouldn't deal with day-to-day -day calls regarding council tax so I can speak to you um, if if that's okay, why wouldn't he? Can I just have his name, please, Lisa? Could it's I? Neil Cop Neil Copley. Oh, he's the guy. And he's, that... serv he's, he's the service director for finance. Yes. Yeah, he's I'm the one that the, signs the I'm letters. Just a man. Yeah, he's, that's right. Yeah, 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 he's got the printed signature um, there on the uh, letters. Yeah, absolutely. So he doesn't speak to people. Then no, why is that? Why why well, is he not? I'm not to I don't mean like, sorry. Yeah, I don't mean like he refuses to speak to people, but obviously he doesn't deal with the you know um, inquiries that come through the helpline and things to discuss council tax um, just because of the nature of his job. So obviously I'm a supervisor um, on the tele you know of the telephone team, so that's why I've been asked to give you a call back today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So obviously Neil is quite happy to put his printed signature upon letters, but he's not happy to take full liability and accountability. So he's not happy to step forward. But that's fine, Lisa. So we'll deal with, you know, I'll deal with whoever I need to deal with. Obviously, I'm quite keen to get this sorted out sooner rather than later. Obviously, I have got the Cedar Group that's chasing me at the moment, which I'm not willing to deal yeah. with them because they're a third-party interloper who I don't consent to uh, engage in with in any way, shape or form. So how do you suggest we move forward with this? I mean, obviously, I have made it. I don't know if you've got the call recorded from last week. I, I've certainly got it recorded at my end. But I was making a conditional offer of payment there upon, obviously, proof of obligation. Who's the man or woman taking full accountability liability? And I would like to request under the Freedom of Information uh, Act 2000 a full disclosure of where the council tax money goes to. So a conditional offer is being made upon receipt of the above. Right, so you'll have recently received your council tax bill and there is, um, I can't remember if the leaflet actually goes with the bill or if there's a link to the leaflet that shows you how the council tax is spent within the borough. So you would have had your new bill um, only a couple of weeks in, so that information would have been there for you to look at. There's no contract there though, is there Lisa, for that? There's no contract, there's no, contract. There's no, there's no, contract. There's no, requi there's, there's no requirement for a contract for council tax. 
Um, it's collected under the Local Government Finance Act 1992, and anybody that's living in a property within the borough is liable to pay council tax. But your um, local so there's government... no, no requirement for a contract. But your Local Government Act 1992, in your own legislation, also states that there is no mandatory obligation to pay council tax, and you are actually under a legal obligation to prove that the people must comply. Right. I mean, you, you are living in a property within the borough, we've billed you correctly, you've not paid the bill, and so we are now collecting that debt. I mean, the only thing I can suggest, because obviously... People do ring up like yourself um, about the I'll just the stop you there, Lisa. The Sorry, I, I do apologise to interrupt, but obviously I'll just stop you there. You're not trying to collect the debt. You've actually passed my data on to a third-party interloper, which I didn't consent we've to. Yeah, but we, with, with, yeah, within the regulations, obviously we collect the debt following the statutory requirements. But that's so your regulations. That doesn't mean to say that I've got to comply with that. I don't, I don't consent to dealing with a third-party entity. Well, why didn't you pay your debt before it got to that stage? And then it no man- needed to be Because spent. there's no mandatory obligation to do so. So we, we, you're just going in circles, really. You and, you're saying you're not obliged to pay. You're not going to pay. We're sending it to a third party. You don't want to discuss it with a third party. I mean, are you saying you are not prepared to pay council tax at all? I'm saying... Or to the enforcement agent? I'm saying I'm making a conditional offer of payment upon proof of claim from a man or woman who's willing to step forward and take full liability. Right, well, obviously, that that is just outside of the regulations for local government finance. So right. we've issued your bill correctly, we've taken recovery action, we've sent you reminders, we've sent you summons as you've not paid. I think the only thing I can suggest here, Lee, um, is because we're not going to get anywhere today just because of the nature of this conversation. We've sent you a summons um, for non-payment. Which is an invitation um, another... that I politely refused. Well, why don't you appear before the magistrate's court and put your, your case to them? Because I don't go to civil courts. There's no magistrate, there's no judge under working right. in oath of office. It's just the council that hire a room. Right. Well, I think there's... I mean, I, I don't want to appear that I'm being rude, but I can't see any point in us having the conversation. Not at all, and I, don't want to appear, and I don't want to appear rude in any way, shape or form either, Lisa, but I'm just yeah, making yeah. it pretty clear my stance on this situation. That will not change. I am making a conditional offer, which I've done several times. Do you know, I don't think it's too much that I'm asking for. The obligation, the liability, the proof of claim, um, and, and, you know, let alone going down the route of fraud on the letters, you know, we'll not get the UPU involved because that's another matter altogether. I think we, we, we can't get past the obligation, can we? So we don't need to go down the route of the fraud that's committed on the letters and the fictitious conveyance of grammar and uh, the printed signatures on the letters from Mr Copley, which is actually fraud within the mailing system. Now, Mr Copley is quite happy to put his printed signature on these letters, but he's not hes not willing to step forward, take full liability and accountability. Well, I mean, what I could suggest then is... It, I could suggest... I mean, it, it's what line you want to go down. I can... Have you got an email address? The I line could email I you a link. Uh, the line, the, the, um, the only line that I'm happy to go down is, is just, you know, I'm, I'm lawful. I'm lawful. You know, this legal business doesn't mean much to me. I'm lawful. I cause no harm and no loss to my fellow man or woman. So at the end of the day, me not paying my council tax, my question to you, Lisa, is where's the victim? Where's the injured party? Well, it's just a civil matter, so there's exactly it's, that. It's, it's, a, it's not it's not within the scope of what you're talking about. It is just Ex- exactly, um, a debt exactly. that arises so, because you live in the borough. So why um, exactly I mean, that? You've just hit the nail on the head there, Lisa. So, you, like you say, you've now passed my details on to a third party entity, which you've just admitted yourself is a civil matter. We all know council tax is a civil matter. Now, these enforcement agents, you know as well as I know, I've got the bailiff manual here in front of me. They cannot force entry for a civil matter. So they're going round in circles as well. I mean, I'm, you know, you say we're not getting anywhere. I think it, it's the council that's not getting anywhere with me because obviously I, I, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm talking about. And, you know, I'm not willing to pay something that I have no mandatory obligation to be paying. 
Right. Well, I think we might as well end the conversation there then, Hayley, because obviously I'm here to do a job, which is to collect the council tax. We're collecting it as, part, as per the regulations in the Local Government Finance Act. Um, we're not going to get any further with this conversation. Unfortunately, I can't stop the enforcement agent because you're not prepared to pay the debt. But that doesn't mean to say that I have to engage. I won't be engaging with them. They've, they've, they've no, already been once. Was, they've yeah. had one visit, that's which was, was last week. Say, obviously, yeah, you're not going to engage with them. They'll, they'll attempt to collect the debt if they're unsuccessful, they'll return the liability order to us and we'll send you a further communication. Um, I think that's all I can really do at this point. As I've said, you, you've had a summons um, for a court hearing um, and that'll go down the same lines again if you're not going to pay it. Um, it'll end up with a liability order. The court hearing's at the end of this month. Um, so if you did want to attend the magistrate's court, you'd need to let us know because it's no, still it's not a real court order, is it? That's the problem. It's not a real court order. You know, you'll struggle to find a judge on oath of office that's working in the Northampton Bulking Centre where all these letters come from. I've already had this conversation no, with the letters Cedar Group. No, our letters printed within our own mailing room. We print all our own posts and um, the post office comes and delivers that, comes and picks them up. So for that summons, we've got proof of postage that it's been posted through throughout the local Royal Mail, you know, so we, we don't send anything, you know, we don't outsource our printing or anything. We do, we've got a printing team within the council, so we've printed our own our own documents. Um, and as I say, we have that proof of postage when we go to the court hearing on the 25th of April. Yeah, um, see, I've already been lied to once that the, this Cedar Group's got a warrant and I've already proved them out to be the liars that they are because this uh, this guy that came to the house last week actually said he'd got a warrant. I called his company and actually they admitted there is no warrant because I asked who right. the judge... I asked who the judge... The named judge was on that warrant, who signed, who's, who's printing signature that, who signed the warrant... And there was no warrant in the end, so um Right, yeah. I mean so I scare take, tactics and legal easy to three will... words, isn't it, Lisa? That's the problem. Yeah, and I will that you are right, he hasn't got a warrant, it's a liability order, you know, that the magistrates grant. So if that's what he told you when he visited, I will take that up with Cedar because the vis the visit would have been recorded. Um right. and I will pick that up with the enforcement agents myself. Right. Um But, but again yeah, with the liability like... order, who's the judge that signed it? Well, it would have been the magistrate that was in court on the day that's of the day. That's no good the to hearing, me. You see, I don't deal with magistrates. Yeah, that's the problem, right. you see. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you see, what, we what are going round in circles just... because you're trying yeah, to just get it. me so... on legalese and trickery of words, but unfortunately, I'm, not, I'm, not I'm two to or three steps in... in front, so... Right. The, so, the yeah, summons let's to... end the conversation there then, Ailey, I think. I, yeah, I, I mean... I know that I've, I've spoke to you. I mean, of course, obviously you've got my direct line. I have, Lisa, um, yeah. And obviously, I mean, you keep telling me about the court and the summons to court, which is obviously nothing more than an, an invitation. You know, I know that you hire the room. It's not a proper court. There's no judge in office because there's no judge going to get involved in a civil matter that would be committing fraud. So, at the end of the day, you're right, we're a little bit stuck, but... I'm getting a little bit frustrated now with having letters sent and obviously bailiffs at my door. So I'd rather get it sorted out once and for all, you know, whichever way. Well, yes, I can, yeah, I can appreciate that. But again, the only way I can sort it is by making an arrangement for you to pay the debt. I can't withdraw but the there one is from no the debt, Lisa. Agent. This is this is the well, problem. I'm so, sorry, I'm interrupting. So what, but what the, do you the, want? There what is... do you want me to start today? I understand everything you're telling me and your stance on the matter, but it, it it's. As far as I'm concerned, you've been billed correctly. You owe the money. The only thing I can who do is who owes the money? Who payment? Who who owes the money? Who's the you? Who owes the money? You you Haley, you owe the money. Right, me me the living woman or the, or the legal fiction that you've got on your paperwork. Well, whatever you want to call yourself. We have got a lady called I, Hayley Batty. I call um, myself Hayley because that's the name that I was given when I was born. So that's yeah. my name. All this Miss, Mrs, Mister, and all the cap capital letters. Yeah. There's no well, military I'll title. Well, from your record. That yeah, there's no there's no requirement for us to to have a title. So I can remove that from your record, Hayley. I mean, I know that doesn't get us very much further, but. If you prefer just to be known as Haley, well, it's a military can... title, isn't it? But the problem is, there you won't be able to contract with me because you need to contract with the legal fiction. So you need to use the title, or you need to use the capital letters for the name. 
Otherwise, you won't be able to contract with me because it's a corporation, and it's only a corporation can only co can only contract with another corporation. So I know we're going down another line there, which will, you know. But at the end of the day, that's that's fact of the matter. Unfortunately, Rich, that is fact. It's not. It's absolutely not an excuse not to pay. It's not anything like that. This is your own legislation, like you've said when, yourself. You know, Local Government you Finance Act, ninety. Because I didn't know any better. That's that's the honest answer. Right. Why didn't I, why did I pay before? Because I didn't know any better. Because I thought I had to pay. Because I thought I had right. to pay, like many other people okay. across the country think that they have to pay, like they think they have to pay TV licence. So, do you see where I'm coming from? Once people start mm -hmm. educating themselves and actually realising, and then actually when I realise that it's your own legislation here that we're talking about, Local Government Finance Act 1992, there is no mandatory obligation to pay council tax. There we go. This is your own legislation, Lisa. This is the council's own legislation. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think, shall we just end the conversation then? Absolutely, here, I don't want to keep you from yeah. your day, Lisa. Thank you for t no. speaking to me. Yeah. Thank you for giving me the courtesy okay. of your time. However, yeah. like I say, that's where we're at with it. That's my stance on it, and that will not change. I won't be appearing yeah. any summons. I won't be going to any... Excuse me, I'm going to say it, Mickey Mouse courts. That won't be happening. No, yeah. I won't be yeah, dealing yeah. with any third party entities. So the ball is in your court now, Lisa, I'm afraid. It, and it, it's your legal obligation to now prove to me that I need to be paying you council tax. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Okay, then, yeah, so leave that with me then. Obviously, like I said, you've got me down that line if there's ever any change. I'm happy to speak to you again, but Thank if you. it's just going to be Thank in the you. same lines, there's not a, a lot of point in discussing it. But if there's anything you need, you can give me a call, No, like I say, okay. by all means, you know, without sounding yeah. like I'm repeating myself, by all means, like I say, if it, it, I have, I've, I've, I've repeated myself here purposely that, you know, this is a conditional offer of payment. This is absolutely not a refusal. This is a conditional offer being made. I cannot do any better than that, I'm afraid, Lisa. Yeah, yeah. All okay, right. I'll make a note of that on your account then, Haley. Yeah, yeah, that's great okay. stuff. No, thanks for your time, yeah. Lisa. Have a good day. Okay, thanks. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Get it right up, yeah.